Hey, what's up, guys? Superman369 from over at SmartphoneJunkie.com. Then I'm going to try and put together a little tutorial on how to make throttle lock themes. Now I had the Touch Pro, it's a VGA device. So I know this, this definitely works for VGA devices, but it should work just the same for QVGA. The way throttle lock seems to work is it'll stretch a QVGA image to fit onto the VGA display. So all the resolutions and everything should be the same whether you have a phone like the Mobile or the Touch, which is QVGA, or the Touch Pro, or Touch Diamond, which is VGA. I'm trying to do this through the camera, so it might take me a little extra long, but bear with me. Now, first thing you want to do, you have to have throttle lock installed on your phone, obviously. First thing I do is I go into my phone through ActiveSync. Alright, and you go to your program files on your phone. And then you'll go down to throttle lock. Once in there, you're going to find a folder for the skins. Now you want to open that. You have a default folder. Now what I do, it's the easiest way, just right click it and select copy. Alright, minimize that. Then you want to go back to your desktop. You just want to paste it. Now when I paste up here, it's going to have your default folder. Now the reason I do that is because it has all the default stuff you're going to need. Like the diagonal lines, the caller ID back, the clock back, everything you need is in here. And it will not work without the skin file, this XML file right here. The one that says skin. Your throttle lock skin needs to have that in there. So rather than worrying about copying all that, I just copy the whole folder. And I'll rename it when I'm done to the theme I want. Alright, now what you want to do, figure out what kind of theme you want first, go online, Google or whatever, get the images you want. I'm going to make a Superman theme today, because it fits, obviously, with my name, and Superman's the shit. Alright, now what I'm going to do, you got to have three different images. You need one for your background, which is going to be this guy. You need one for the throttle lock icons when they're not selected, when they're just sitting there, which is going to be this, the regular one right here. You also need an image for the icons when they're selected. I'm going to make it the silver Superman edge right here. And you need another image for when you put in a wrong pattern to all turn. It's going to be this kryptonite right here. Alright, now I'm going to use Paint Shop Pro 10 to do this. It's the easiest way I know how to do it. And it's always easier when you find images for your, for your icons if they have a clear background, like a solid background color. You'll see why in a couple seconds, but if you're going to find an image, try and find one like that. Alright, first thing you want to do, we'll work on the background first. You open up the image that's going to be your background. Alright, this is my guy right here. It's going to be my background. Now, they're all going to be, they're always going to be different color, different sizes off of the internet. So you want to resize it. Now in this, you could either go to image and resize, or just hit shift S. And that's going to pop up. Alright, so the resize tab. You want to go down and make sure that lock aspect ratio is clicked. Otherwise, you resize it, it'll get all messed up and distorted. Now, like I said earlier, this is good for VGA devices as well as QVGA. You always want to do the QVGA size. So do 240. And here, it's going to be locked to 290, which is close enough to 320. Alright, go down, click OK. Doesn't look half bad, right? Pretty good. Now you're going to go save as. I'm going to be saved as back. Alright. So just type in back. And you want to save it as a ping. PNG. All your images are going to be pings. I'm, just going to, I'm saving it into the file Superman Throttle Lock. I go down, hit save. Alright, he's used that. I got the background done for the throttle lock image. Alright, next thing is for it. Go the next thing. We're going to work with. Uh, Alright, we'll do this guy first. That's a solid blue background. So, what I want to do. First thing, if you have a colored back, any kind of background, you want to make a transparent background. Otherwise, you're going to have that little square block. Make it transparent. That way, it's see through when it's on your throttle lock. So, all you'll see is the S. Alright, so I want to go down. Always first hit the erase tool. Alright. 
just make a little mark. That little checker right there, that means transparent in PaintShop Pro. Now what you want to do, go to the magic wand, click anywhere on the blue, and it will select everything. Alright, everything outside the S is selected now. You can see a little that move in line, that means it's selected. You're going to delete. Now the complete outside is transparent. Now that wouldn't have worked if I didn't make that little notch first and erased it. It would just erase it to a different color. It's retarded, but that's the way it works. Now that we got transparency on here, we can do the same thing on the inside. So I want to do go to the inside one, instead of one click, it'll select, hit delete. Same thing here. Select it, delete it. Same thing over here. There's a little tiny area right there. Select that. Like that, we're getting rid of all the blue. Well, I mean, if you want, you can let the you can let the blue in there. It's the outside blue that really matters. But I like it completely transparent. That way, you'll be able to see right through to the background. All right, now you can see a little TM right there. It's a little pain in the ass. Got to get rid of that guy. Now, the thing with the with the paint shop is, if you have something selected, like I, you know, like I got right there, it won't let you erase anything. So you got to go to the arrow. Just right there, just click on any of the objects. There you go. Now I could erase that little TM. Go to the erase tool. There it is. Alright. Boom, it's gone. Now what I'm going to do is resize this. Shift S, just like before. The aspect ratio is locked. And I want to make the width as close to 60 by 60 as possible. This one comes out to be 60 by 40, which is pretty good. All right, now I go down, hit OK, and it's resized. All right. Now, since this is going to be the one for the select, we're going to go to Save As, which is right here. When you go down here, it's going to be dot, spell it out, hyphen, no cell, which is short for no select. That's the name the file has to be. DOT hyphen N O S E L. Alright, you want to save it as a ping, just like before. Save it as a ping. Save that same folder. Hit save. Yes.